guys welcome back to the channel so today what I'm doing is replacing oh maybe upgrading my speakers I'm doing it small slowly first I have the tweeters that I'm working on so I'm gonna show you what what they look like and then I'm also going to show you what I'm planning on doing with them so these are the stack tweeter location and I'm going to basically make it better from what it is. I'll show you now. So here's the distract tweeter. I actually, way back when I uh, stayed, uh, I had this installed at a car shop and I actually didn't like, look how big of a hole this is. So the tweeters are not even, see the hole is right here? The tweeters are not even facing right here. The tweeters are like down here. So the sound doesn't come the way I would want it to come. I want the sound to be like right in here. So what I end up doing, I bought a set of new covers. But of course, he cut this and shaved so much of it that I cannot reuse these. I have to get, get a brand new set from, from Subaru. Part number one, part number two. So I'm gonna start working on it, taking this apart and then redo it the way I want to do it to make it look good. Cause I don't like the way it looks. Like, I don't know if you could see, see where the tweeter is? The tweeter is back here. And look at how big of a hole there is on the top. So the sound doesn't come out the way I want it to do. So I get to show you sometime when you want to do something like you gotta do it yourself. So, the way this is done is literally just one screwdriver, one screw, and then the tweeter comes out. I'm gonna take this part out as well, and I want to show you guys what the person did, which I hate. You guys go look what what happened. He literally just pushed this thing out rather than doing it and didn't cut it properly so it could fit. So I'm gonna redo this whole. I don't like that. He didn't cut it properly and you couldn't put the tweeter in properly. So I'm gonna redo it myself. So let's open this up. New one. So make sure everything looks good. All right, so here's this one. Here how this is supposed to look. So I'm going to do it properly this time, let me see if you can see it. This one apart. Now, so I completely messed up that tweeter and cut everything out so I have no mounting, nothing to mount it minus this. All I have to figure out now is how to mount this properly since oh my goodness this is completely butchered all right guys so this is what it's gonna look like and you know the way this was butchered it wasn't me but I don't want to have to buy another another tweeter so I'm gonna find a way maybe notch notch a little bit right here and then a little bit back here so I can screw without this coming apart so if I do this little notch here right here and another one here it will be able to fit super flush so let me get my Dremel ready and then we'll do this Perfect. Perfect. Just 
just the way I want it. Okay, now just gotta put a little bit of foam onto it. So we're just gonna put a little bit here so I, there's no rattling whatsoever. So the foam is gonna compress. There we go. Foam is going to help direct the sound out into the, the cabinet. Put Let's fit it again. Okay, so the little foam here, some on the bottom here. See if I can show you guys. Oh, let me fix that so it doesn't rattle. This right here, and I trim a little bit of this. So I put the little grooves on there so it can hold the tweeter really nicely. Very nice, and I got all my screws all. I gotta just knob this one a little bit, and then once I put this in, it's going to be nicely sitting. Yeah. I like this so much better. So much better. Yes, yes, yes. So now this is all in. Put the screws in. And then, I'm going to put the last screw to hold on to the tweeter. Okay, looking good. Looks so much better. One done. Another one to go. The next one. Take it apart. Let's go to work on that again. Similar to the first one. It's a trial and error. So I can get it to fit the way I want. Start trimming. Let's fit it now. Okay, also wrap this in a little bit of foam so it can seal into this chamber really nicely. So this is done. See the little foam on the bottom of it? And the wires are soldered. I may have to resolder them again to make sure that the positive and negative are right. So the foam makes sure the tweeter, it's looking really nice now. You cannot see there's like no little holes. Everything is facing properly now. So I should get way better sound now. But let me keep working on the second one. To add a little bit had to add a little bit of piece of different foam but it's foam so it's all gonna work so that's what it's gonna look like and this is gonna sit uh, let me get it properly right in here so the foam is gonna hold it from one corner to this corner like right in here see it almost doesn't move already and then put the two three screws it's fine totally fine I'll stick out the padding Tweeter is ready. This is ready. Now it's a matter of fitting, fitting this part onto here. So I gotta cut a little bit of the stuff off. So I just use a flush cutter for that, just like this one. And then the back, we're not gonna use the screw anymore because it's for a different type of speaker we basically I just cut a little bit of piece at a time and I keep test fitting and trying until I get it to sit the way I want now I'll try again it's just trial and error trial try 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 until I can get it to fit now let's put some foam to secure it 
All right, we're gonna put a different, a smaller foam in this one. And we're gonna double it up. Let's give it a try now. Let's give it another try. So I got one screw, two screws. Now I have to attach the, the tweeter here. This is the, the bolt that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put it right here. And as you can see, this is all foamed up in here. So the sound can't escape. Speakers are done with connection a little foam here so that the sound does not escape on both sides okay i'm gonna check the polari i think i need to switch them but either or we are ready this is the final project what it looks like now we're gonna put a little bit of tesla tape on it external tesla tape on this So here it is with a little bit of extra tape on top of it. So let's go put it in the car now. All right, to put it in the car, this get connected to here. Put it the right way. Snap it. So you push the cable, push the cable down, and then you line up the hole in the back and push it forward and clip this right here where my finger clip this. Clip this right here. Push, clip. That's it. Let's go do the other side. So this side is just the same thing. Your old cable, connect, and then push the cable down so it doesn't touch anything. You clip it in, push, and clip. Done. Here is this one and this one. So this makes me feel better. I know people would probably never see it, but it makes me feel better that I did I did it the way I wanted to come out. Like if I would have pay someone, that's how I would have wanted to come out. So anyway, this is done. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like and subscribe. Hopefully this helps somebody out. So I will see you guys on the next video. That's all she wrote. Bye.